friends, welcome to this session. Here, I am going to take you through a fun-filled learning experience on environmental studies of class 4. So, join me friends. Let's have some fun in the class. Good morning students. Good morning teacher. Children, environmental studies are the basic study of our environment. And shouldn't we all know about our environment? Come, let us find out about our own environment. Human body, health, hygiene, safety and first aid, sense organs, their functions and care. We always do some work. We may be working, reading, playing or doing some activity or other. There are many organs to do all these functions. Our body works like a machine. The machine has many parts which together do a major job. So, also the human body has many organs which do any work like that of growing, moving, or digesting foods etc. Human body is a complicated machine. It is different from other machine. It can perform so many wonderful functions which no other machine can do. It grows, it feels, it sees, it hears, it smells. It is aware of the surroundings through various organs. The organs which help the human body to see, to hear, to smell and to taste are called sense organs. Eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin are called sense organs. These sense organs are Possible to see, hear, smell, taste and feel. Sense organs are very important to us. They are like windows to our body. Through them only we can know our surroundings. If these organs work properly, we can lead a better life. So they need great care and protection. Let us learn a bit more about the sense organs, their functions and care to be taken about. Eyes Eyes are important to us. They help to see the world around us. Eyes are the organ of sight. Eyes are delicate organs. They need great care. Care of your eyes your eyes are always exposed to air and dust particles. Wash your eyes regularly with plenty of fresh clean water after getting up from bed and before going to bed. Do not look directly at the sun or bright object. Do not see television for a long durations. It should be viewed from minimum Distance of about 2.5 meters. Keep the bulb or tube light on while viewing the TV. Observe the following precautions while reading or writing. Do not read lying or leaning position. Sit in a proper position while reading or writing. The object for reading or writing should be Kept at a distance of about 30 centimeters from the eyes. Do not throw dust, stone or other objects that may harm someone's eyes. If you feel some irritation, pain, redness in your eyes, consult a doctor. Do not rub your eye when a foreign body enters it. Wash the eye with plenty of water if a foreign body is in the eye. 
lightly bandage the eye immediate go to a doctor for removal of the foreign body report your patterns if you get the discomfort headache or tears while reading or writing consult a doctor immediately vitamin a is necessary to keep your eyes healthy to appear bright and shiny vitamin a is present in rich quantities in leafy vegetables carrot orange color fruits and also in milk milk products egg and fish eat them regularly we see and enjoy the beauty of the nature in the world through the eyes so we must take all possible care to keep them in good health ears how do ears help us they help us to hear the sounds around us can we identify the objects through their sounds we can recognize the objects by hearing their sounds buses trains can be identified by their sounds Ears are the sense organs of hearing. Ears have definite shape. The external ear leads into a canal like portion. At the end of the canal there is a delicate membrane called eardrum. Your ears are delicate organs. They need great care. Care of your ears. Always keep the ears clean do not use hair pins safety pins or matchstick for cleaning the ears they may hurt the ear drum do not put any oil drops into the ears clean the ears using the little finger with a towel or handkerchief do not put stones or seeds in the ears if any small object or insect gets into the ears visit a doctor to remove it close the ears with hands or cotton against a loud noise do not hit anyone on the ears consult a doctor if there is pain in the ears or if there is discharge from the ears If you protect the ears and keep them healthy you can enjoy the different sound conversations music and songs of the birds around you nose we breathe in and breathe out with the nose the nose is a sense organs of smell through which we are able to smell things the air we breathe enters the lungs impure air comes out some items like garlic camphor naphthalene balls tulsi leaves and flowers like jasmine rose can be identified easily through their smell our sense of smell helps us to identify the objects around us the nose has two nostrils these nostrils are covered with thin membrane care of the nose keep the nose clear all the time wash the nostrils during bath do not insert stones seeds matchsticks pencil in the nose sometimes you may get cold the nostrils may be blocked apply eucalyptus oil in the nose consult a doctor Keep a handkerchief for sneezing and while blowing through nose. You cannot feel the smell of things when you get cold. By keeping your nose clean and healthy, you can enjoy the fragrance of flowers and good smells of objects around you. Did you all get to know more about eyes, ear and nose? Okay. Now Let's learn about our skin. Skin. The skin spreads 
on the surface of the body. It covers and protects the body parts. The skin acts like a sense organ. The skin is important organ of touch. We can identify cold, hot and normal objects through sense of touch. It helps us to feel the softness of flowers, the hardness of stones, coldness of ice and warmth of the sun. Is there uniform thickness of skin throughout the body? Observe the skin of your body on the palm, under the feet, on your face, hands and trunk. The skin on the palms and under the feet is thick and on the remaining parts it is thin. We work hard and use our hands and feet more than any other part of the body. The lips and the skin under the feet and back are more sensitive to touch. The skin responds to touch differently on different parts of the body. Care of the skin Have a proper bath every day. Wash all parts of the body with soap or soap nut. In hot climate, bath once or twice a day with the soap and water. During dry cold months, skin may become dry. So massage oil over the skin before bathing. Use a clean and dry towel or cloth to dry the body. Wear clothes dried in the sun. Do not share underclothes or towel with anyone. If one gets cabbies, ringworm, boils or find itching rashes on any part of your body, consult a doctor. Soft and healthy skin adds beauty to the body. Tongue Tongue and teeth are in the mouth. Tongue helps in swallowing food. It pushes the food in between teeth for crushing it. We speak with the help of tongue. Tongue is muscular. It is attached to the inner part of the mouth and the narrow end moves freely. Tongue gives us the taste. There are taste buds on the tongue. They are distributed in different places on the tongue. Teacher, what are called sense organs? Important points. The organs that help us to know the outside world are called sense organs. They are like windows to the body. The five sense organs in our body are eyes, ears, nose, tongue and skin. Eyes are the organs of sight. They are delicate and need special care. Observe some precautions while reading and writing. Consult a doctor whenever there is a pain or irritation in the eyes or difficulty in seeing objects. Always eat leafy vegetables, ripe fruits or milk, milk products, eggs, fish also keep the eyes healthy. Ears help to hear the sound around us. Always keep the ears clean. Do not use matchstick or pins for cleaning the ears. Do not put stones or seeds in the ears. Consult a doctor whenever there is a pain or discharge from the ears. Nose is a sense organ for smell. It also helps in breathing. Keep the nose clean all the time. During cold, apply eucalyptus oil and consult a doctor. The skin is an important organ of touch. The skin in the palm and under the feet, etc. The sensitivity of the skin is more in some parts of the body like lips and under the feet. Tongue is the sense organ for taste. There are taste buds on the tongue. The taste buds on the different zones feel different taste. 
clean your tongue daily while cleaning your teeth okay children we studied about our external organs now shall we learn about our internal organs internal organs of the body and their functions stomach kidneys heart lungs after work or play we feel tired and hungry we eat and drink the food we eat is digested in our body if we keep the hands on our chest we can feel the heart beat the heart pumps blood to all parts of the body we breathe in and breathe out at regular intervals digestion of food pumping of blood to all part of the body breathing are some of the functions constantly performed in our body these activities are carried out in the body throughout the life there are many important organs inside the body to perform these functions let us learn about some important organs and their functions the stomach lies on the left side of the abdomen it is a bag like structure the walls of the stomach are tough and muscular the food we eat goes from the mouth into the stomach what happens when we eat more food the stomach increases in size if we do not eat food or eat less the size of the stomach remains same the reason is the stomach is a muscular and elastic body it can expand and comes back to its original size the walls of the stomach produce digestive juices which mix up with the blood when you churn it changes into buttermilk similarly the food is digested here the food in the semi liquid form passes into the small intestine where it is digested and absorbed into the blood kidneys urine is excreted out of the body several times in a day urine is a waste product produced in the body waste materials or production that are produced in the body are not needed to the body so they must be sent out this process of elimination is called excretion certain waste products are separated from the blood by the organs called kidneys these are the main organs of the excretion there are two kidneys which lie at the back and above the hips one on either side of the backbone kidneys are bean shaped each kidney is connected by a narrow tube called urinary tube to the urinary bladder the kidneys remove the body waste like urea water and carbon dioxide in the form of urine this urine is sent to the urinary bladder from the bladder it is passed out of the body rib cage if we press the chest portion with our hands we can feel the presence of hard bones inside this part the bones in the chest part form a cage like structure called the rib cage the lungs and the heart are situated inside the rib cage now can anyone tell me what the function of a heart is heart pumps blood throughout our body it helps in blood flow that's right let us now learn about our heart the heart is a muscular organ which pumps blood to all parts of the body it is situated in the middle of the chest slightly towards the left side it is of the size of our own fist the heart is divided into two halves by a wall each half 
is divided into two chambers which have a common opening between them there are four chambers in all the upper two auricles and the lower two ventricles the body moves around in the body in a system of tubes called blood vessels the vessels taking blood away from the heart are called arteries and those that bring blood back to the heart are called veins the arteries and veins are joined to each other by very tiny vessels called capillaries heartbeat if we place our palm over the chest we can feel the beating of the heart the heart muscles contract and expand while pumping the blood to the different parts of the body the upper chambers expand and get blood from the veins then they contract and pump blood to the lower chambers these in turn contract and send the blood to the arteries heartbeat is caused due to the contraction and expansion of the heart muscles simultaneously doctors hear the heartbeat with an instrument called stethoscope we can feel the pulse at the wrist part of the hand by counting the pulse we can know the number of times the heart beats in a minute in a healthy person the heart beats about 72 times per minute the lungs in the chest portion inside the rib cage there are two lungs one on either side they are cone shaped the lungs are sponge like structure and are delicate organs let us learn about the functions of the lungs if we take a deep breath and then breathe out we will observe that air in we breathe out comes out of your nose the process of breathing in and breathing out is called respiration the organs of respiration are the nose the windpipe and the lungs the air we breathe in enters the nostrils into the windpipe from the windpipe it enters both the lungs this air rich in oxygen purifies the blood in lungs important points some life activities like blood circulation respiration are carried in our body throughout our life the internal organs in our body perform these functions stomach kidney heart and lungs are some of the internal organs of our body stomach is an electric bag like muscular organ a part of the food we eat is digested and changes into liquid form in the stomach then it is passed into the small intestine two bean shaped organs situated at the back above the hips on either side of the backbone are called kidneys kidneys help to remove the body water like urea water from the blood in the form of urine the urine enters the urinary bladder through urinary tubes and is excreted the heart is a muscular organ which is situated in the middle of the chest slightly towards the left blood flows from the heart through blood vessels called arteries and flows back to the heart through blood vessels called veins the systematic expansion and contraction of the muscular walls of the heart while pumping the blood is called the heart beat doctors feel the heart beat with an instrument called stethoscope they feel the pulse by pressing the hand at the wrist two lungs are situated in the rib cage inside of the chest the air we breathe in enters into the windpipe and from there it reaches 
both the lungs. The air we breathe is rich in oxygen. The blood from the body paths reaches the heart which in turn pumps to the lungs. In the lungs, the blood takes in oxygen and is purified. The carbon dioxide in the blood goes into the lungs and is released through breathing out process. Like kidneys, lungs also help to remove the waste from the body. Breathing through the nose is healthy habit. Can you tell me what happens to the food that we eat? It gets digested in our stomach. That's correct. Let us now see the process of digestion. Digestion We all eat food. We eat food to live. Food gives us energy to do work. To get energy from the food, it should be digested and absorbed into the blood. The oxygen we breathe helps to burn the food and to release energy. Let us learn how the food is digested in our body. We eat different kinds of foods. The food we eat cannot be used by our body as such. It must be changed into simple soluble form before it is used by the body. This process is called digestion. This digestion takes place in the food canal. Parts of the food canal The food canal consists of the mouth that leads into a narrow tube called the gullet. This opens into the stomach which acts like a bag. The stomach has an opening which leads to the small intestine. This in turn continues as large intestine. The large intestine finally ends as rectum and anus. Undigested waste process out through the anus, mouth, gullet, stomach, small intestine, large intestine and anus are the parts of the food canal. Mouth for crushing and chewing food. The food canal starts with the mouth and ends with the anus. The upper and lower jaws are joined together to form a mouth cavity. The upper jaw is fixed firmly. The lower jaw can enable us to chew our food. The mouth consists of teeth and the tongue. The teeth helps to bite tear, chew and mix the food. The tongue helps to move the food around in the mouth. It also helps to swallow the food. Arrangement of teeth Food must be chewed and broken into small pieces before it is swallowed. This is done by the different kinds of teeth in our mouth. The different kinds of teeth are arranged in the mouth. The teeth situated in front of the mouth are called incisors. They are 8 in number, 4 in each jaw. These are edged front teeth used for cutting the food. At each end of the row of these are canine teeth. They are sharp and pointed. They are used for tearing of food such as pieces of meat, etc. There are 32 teeth in the mouth, 16 in each jaw in the grown-up person. The infants have no teeth up to some months. The first teeth are formed in their mouth after a few months. The first set of teeth are called milk teeth. There are 20 teeth in this set. The milk teeth starts falling off by 8 or 9 years of age. A new set of teeth is formed before the age of 12. This new set is permanent. If any one of the permanent teeth is lost, it will not grow again. In a lifetime, only two sets of teeth are observed. Digestive juices The digestive juices help to digest the food we eat. Some of the digestive juices are produced in the different parts of the food canal. 
these digestive juices mix up with the food and change it into simpler forms important points the process of changing of food into simpler substances before our body uses it is called digestion the food we eat is digested in the food canal which is a long tube the parts of the food canal are mouth gullet stomach small intestine large intestine and anus mouth and stomach are broad whereas the remaining parts are tube like structures the upper jaw and the lower jaw are joined together to form mouth cavity tongue and teeth are present in the mouth there are different kinds of teeth in our mouth they help us to bite tear crush and grind the food the first set of teeth formed in the babies are milk teeth before the age of 12 they fall off and a second set takes place the second set of teeth are permanent teeth most persons have 32 teeth in their mouth while children have 20 teeth up to a certain age digestive juices are produced in the food canal and other organs they mix up with the food and convert it into simpler forms before it is absorbed into the blood the digested food is absorbed into the blood in the walls of the small intestine and digested food passes into the large intestine the walls of the large intestine absorb water the undigested food in the form of feces passes out from the body through the anus we get constipation and other diseases if the undigested food is stored for a long time in the food canal eat plenty of raw vegetables fruit and drink plenty of water develop regular toilet habits